So the first thing that you want to do is open the Anyomi app after installing it. Over here you will see the welcome screen. After that select your preferred theme and tap on next. Then tap on select folder and choose the default folder created by the app. Tap on use this folder and allow the permission. Then skip the storage guide and tap on next. Over here allow the install app permission if it hasn't been allowed already. Tap on next again and then tap on get started. Over here tap on more options. After that scroll down and tap on settings. Then scroll down again and go to the browse option. Over here you will see anime extension repos and manga extension repos. Then open your browser and do a google search for otaku anyomi extensions. Tap on the first link. And scroll down now let's start with adding the manga extension repos go back to the anyomi app and make sure you are on the manga extension repos page then go back to the browser and tap on auto install for the first source after that install another repo from the list once both manga repos are added go back to the anyomi app and tap on anime extension repos Keep this page open. Then go back to the browser, scroll up and tap on auto install for the first anime source. After that do the same for the second one. Now that both anime and manga repos are added, go back to the app and tap on browse. Over here tap on manga extensions and install any source. After that go to more options again and tap on settings. Over here you can change the app's appearance, configure your library, set up the player. So that's basically how you can set up and use Anyomi app. And that's it for this video. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing and giving this a big thumbs up. Thanks.